Flow cytometry uses light scattering caused by cells in a sample which are passed through a laser beam. This light scatters in a forward direction as well as the side direction and is called forward scatter and side scatter respectively. Forward scatter is proportional to the size of the cell, while side scatter is proportional to the complexity of the cell. Both the forward and side scatter gets detected and converted into an electrical pulse, which is directly proportional to the amount of scattered light. In FACS, which stands for fluorescence activated cell sorting, naturally occurring fluorophores or fluorophore labeled antibodies, which attach to select cells, absorb and re emit light, which gets detected by a multitude of detectors in the following manner. Depending on which combination of detectors pick up the light, we know what fluorophore has been excited. This gives us even more data, which can be represented in several ways. All flow cytometry data is usually represented in one of two ways. Histograms, which measure or compare only a single parameter, or dot plots, which compare two or three parameters simultaneously on two or three dimensional scatter plots. In addition, the data can also be displayed in a pseudo color plot as well as contour plot. A histogram typically plots the intensity on the y-axis and the number of events detected at that intensity on the x-axis. A large number of events detected at one particular intensity will be displayed as a spike on the histogram. By contrast, in a dot plot, each event is represented as a single point on a scatter plot. Intensity of two different channels or three different channels in a three-dimensional plot are represented along the various axes. Events with similar intensities will cluster together in the same region on the scatter plot. A pseudo color plot is similar to the dot plot, but with the added benefit of seeing the density of the cells relative to one another. Blue and green correspond to areas of lower cell density, yellow corresponds to mid range cell density, and orange and red are areas of high cell density. In a contour plot, only a small number of events has been collected. Contour plots display the relative frequencies of the populations regardless of the number of events collected. Differences between two sets of data may be easier to visualize and distinguish from one another by drawing contour lines when the total data available is limited. However, when many events have been collected, contour plots are not useful and can in fact be harder to interpret compared to the other plots available to us. To further improve the resolution of a flow cytometry graph, we can use a process called gating. If you want to learn more about gating, check out this video. Until next time.